Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to With Love Tarot. I am back with another request and this time it's going to be on Jisoo from Blackpink. So this is going to be With Love Tarot Celebrity Edition and I'm going to be looking into her uh, current energies, her emotional well-being, what might be going on with her, uh, her dynamic with the rest of Blackpink and what her love life and career looks like for the rest of 2020. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests to do uh, another reading on Lisa, which I will also be working on this week as well because I know there's some things that happened. So stay tuned for that. Are you ready? So coming into uh, Jisoo's current energies here, we have Six of Swords and the Two of Swords. So what's coming through here is definitely travel. I believe she's traveling uh, with Blackpink as a whole, you know, going to uh, different locations, projects, that kind of thing. But really more on a personal level, guys, she, this is about mental thoughts. I think she's really trying to avoid some type of drama and keep the peace in her life. I say that because with the Two of Swords, it's almost like she's trying to stay out of something. So I don't get any negative energy here, but... What I am getting is like she's keeping to herself and just trying to avoid negativity, you know, like she's keeping it moving, <laughs> as you can see, right? Because this is about going toward calmer waters, really not looking back, all right? She could also be contemplating or thinking about her next move in something with the Two of Swords. You can see that this person here is like playing a game of chess, um, so I the feeling I'm getting is that she's contemplating her next move on something. Could be her move with Blackpink. Um, it could be that she's just evaluating um, where she's at in her career, where she's at in her life. But I do see that she's keeping um, a lower profile around this time period. It could be more on a personal level. Despite what she presents to the public, she's trying to keep some balance and peace in her life and keep her personal life separate from the public. For her dynamic with uh, Blackpink as a group, we have Prince of Cups and Two of Wands. So this is really nice. So what I'm getting here with the Prince of Cups, there's a really nice energy between her um, and the other group members here. And it's emotions. There's love here, guys, too. You know, I can tell that uh, they have a bond. And also with the Two of Wands, this is partnership. So it's like they're friends, but they also have uh, definitely a business partnership, you know, and I do see that it works. They really work well together. I know some of you have asked me to take a look at um, the energies between some of them specifically. So I will do that uh, in the future. But this is just how her dynamic is uh, with Blackpink as a whole. Okay, so it works, you know, so... They're friends, there's love here, but at the end of the day, this is definitely um, a business partnership. And she she fits in. There could be a role that she takes on behind the scenes um, with the decisions, as you can see. Oh, look at this. I just noticed this. So there's two swords and two wands next to each other. So there's something here where she could be a decision maker on something or they give her a certain responsibility. But she has a strong role. It could be something more behind the scenes here. So I asked if she was single and what's her love life for the rest of 2020. So keep in mind, guys, I'm doing this reading in June going into July. So energy could shift here. Uh, you know, could definitely change in a month, two, three months from now. But there could be, yeah, there could be something she's involved with, guys. So we have the lovers. Yeah, this is a soulmate relationship. Um, and... Whether she's in it or not, because I know management really keeps their relationships under lock and key. So what the media presents isn't always the truth. But yeah, she could be involved with somebody. Uh, could be a Gemini or a Cancer here. This is an intense relationship that she's already in or is coming in for her. Okay, so I will clarify that. I do see that she's moving forward in something in her love life too. 
So for the rest of 2020 for her career, looking really nice, guys, um, Nine of Cups almost immediately popped out. So this is wish fulfillment. So there's going to be something that comes in that makes her really happy, and it could be a new opportunity, right? Whether that's with Blackpink or not. I'm going to do a reading on Blackpink as a whole at some point, but there is something here that I do see that she's going to be happy. There's something that uh, comes in for her. that is emotionally fulfilling and it could be something she's been wishing on for a while. So with the Princess of Pentacles, look at this guys. Um, this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. When I get this card, this means that she's going to be successful. She's already extremely successful, but this is more success coming in for her. This is a new opportunity, all right? So she's full of creativity. She could be taking on new projects um, and it's you know something that leads to a lot of happiness here. Uh, this is more success coming in for her and for the group together. I do see that they're doing really well. So I'm going to clarify some things here to get a little bit more specific. Okay, so clarifying her uh, current energies here and what's going on with her, Six of Wands popped out, okay? And, you know, the feeling I'm getting is she could be moving past something, whether that's, like I said, some negative energy or uh, taking a break in some way on a personal level. And the feeling I got is she's... Having success in her career, obviously, but she could be taking a break from um, the spotlight or trying to. It's almost like she's trying to get out of the public eye. It could have something to do with social media and just avoiding that. So not taking a break from her career, but on more of a personal level, just trying to get some type of balance and avoid uh, negativity, social media, that kind of thing, or that's the energy she wants to take on around this time period or what she's trying to do. With the Seven of Cups, she's also moving past decisions or um, options that might not be the best for her. It's almost like she's assessing something around this time period uh, which I like to see because, again, with the Two of Swords energy, there's there's something here where she's either kind of taking a time out on a personal level to regroup or even trying to cut some type of like toxic energy out of her life, but while remaining successful here. So with the full card clarifying uh, her dynamic with Blackpink, yeah, this is taking a new beginning with them. It's like a choice that she made when she joined Blackpink. And it has taken her on a journey that's been very successful. And she might even feel like it was a leap of faith or a little bit of a gamble doing that. That's what's coming through here. Her dynamic also could be that, like I said, she could have some type of decision uh, making authority uh, in something behind the scenes. And maybe she is willing to take a little bit of a risk. She could be fearless in some way, whether she presents that to the public or not. So clarifying the rest of her love life for 2020 here, Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles popped out. So Queen of Cups is a water sign. So earlier I did mention it could be a cancer that she gets involved with or somebody with cancer in their birth chart. So this person is going to be pretty emotional here. Uh, Queen of Cups is a really nice energy. And somebody that she feels really connected to with the lovers. So with the Four of Pentacles, guys, this could also be... Like I was healing somebody that she's been dealing with 
and even somebody that she's not letting go of. So if this is somebody from her past or this is somebody that she broke up with, she's not letting go of this connection with the Four of Pentacles here, okay? It could also be that she's a little bit guarded, understandably so. She doesn't want to get hurt. None of us want to get hurt. So, you know, she could be a little bit guarded or to herself, but I do see that she possibly uh, could be connecting with somebody for the rest of 2020. So with the star card and Knight of Wands clarifying future energies here, guys, her future looks really, really nice. I know that there could be some issues that she's been dealing with. I think that she's been dealing with uh, problems on social media, unfortunately, people going after her. But uh, regardless of any of that, I do see that her career looks really nice. And there's something with the star card here, guys, this is my other wish fulfillment card. So with the nine of cups, yeah, there's something coming in for her that she's either been waiting on, wishing on, or just, it's just more success. Really. The star too tells me that this is her literally being in the spotlight. She is a celebrity. She is a star and she is beautiful. So it's, really nice energy. So Knight of Wands too tells me that she is uh, going to move something forward. You know, this is forward movement. This is passionate energy. So uh, it could be that there's, like I said, a passion project that she's been working on or some real creativity leads uh, to success on a new project. Even with the Princess of Pentacles, this could be a project that she uh, moves forward with whether that's with Blackpink or a side project but yeah I see a lot of continued success for her for the rest of 2020. Thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of requests that I am working on for you guys, so I appreciate your patience with me here. If you enjoyed any part of this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you next time with love.